Hello, I am Kristen and also known as Fruitful Hands and I'm going to open this jewelry jar for you and try to do it pretty quickly just as a short video for you. Uh, I tried to do a live yesterday with the two other jewelry jars I had and I have them kind of all spread out so if you want to go over to my Facebook uh, business page Fruitful Hands 31 you can certainly watch those videos there. Uh, my goal is to list up about um, all, try to get all of these up there for you by the end of next week. I have a lot of wonderful, wonderful things for you. So this is a Goodwill jar. Sorry, things are reversed, but um, I haven't opened it yet. There was a couple of things in here that I kind of peeked that I was interested in. There's not much in this one like the other ones, uh, but this little guy I'm interested. I don't even know what it would be. Um, and there's a, a box and there's a couple other things in here some stone jewelry some snake chains loose sight bracelets I don't know should just be fun uh, just so let's get started um, I am a reseller on eBay and sometimes Poshmark uh, I don't have a lot up on Poshmark right now but uh, I am a lone parent with three children that are all going to have their birthdays coming up soon. So this is just an extra way for me to make some income for my family. I also am a licensed massage therapist and sorry, hold on. Ooh. I do that with my own business as well, but this was something that after the pandemic, I needed a little bit more money. People weren't comfortable coming in with massage. So I started doing this so I can make some extra money. All right, first up we have a, a, I don't know if it's vintage, but it's definitely like a, it's probably not, but plastic um, bracelet with a hinge. I don't know if you can see that, it's different color. It's fun, I'll sell that. I think it's fun and interesting and people like stuff like that. So it'd be probably a couple of bucks. Um, I've got a little pendant, it says pray for us. Everything's backwards and the lighting is a little tough, so I apologize. Still working with it. This might just go into a craft lot. They feel like light brass pieces, but this is a threaded necklace. Uh, it's chunky. I don't know. It's not dirty. The threading isn't dirty. It's pretty clean. It's pretty nice still no rips and tears um we'll see anything you see on here that you like feel free to send me a private message um or we can uh, figure something out or keep an eye out on my ebay store you can also go on to my link tree um which is at uh, fruitful hands 31 right on there and then we just have a piece of what looks like part of a, rotor a rosary our lady of Mount Carmel, I am not Catholic, I apologize. But it has these cute little cranberry colored circular plastic beads. I'm excited about this, I like this. These are pretty heavy um, and they're cool to the touch. They may, they may be glass. They're really cold, I don't think plastic, but they do almost feel like, like a plexi plastic feeling but they're really fun um, <clears throat> let's check and see if there's any mark nope but there is an extender I'll definitely list that up it's really it's fun especially with the holiday season coming up and New Year's you know people are gonna want to sparkle and shine and that's definitely a piece that I think will sell for me so we have another pearl necklace but these look like faux pearls even though they have um, the knots in between they're like a brown color yeah plastic plastic beads with an extender I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I might put that in the craft lot or I'll sell it we shall see this is interesting so this is like a 
wire coiled. Um, it has like a wire inside a stretch band. Definitely fun. Um, no markings. I think a lot of times I think like necklaces like this I can still sell for between five and ten dollars, if not more. <clears throat> oh, I found the match to the other earring I had in my other box the other day. These are glass beads. Oh, I'm happy I kept that out. So now I have the pair. Excellent. Those are super cute. I love those. I love art glass, anything glass. Oh yes, this. Okay, we've got another earring in here. We'll see if I find the match later. Sorry, I don't have a screen for you to look down, so I have to show them to you this way. Um, this is intriguing. I just can't quite figure out how it's work. Oh, here we go. Looks like it's missing a couple pieces. It's like, what is this? Are they, they're really, it looks like they're colored wood chips or some kind of something, but it's got the, it's missing some here. So I'll probably put this into that craft lot for sure. So put that over there. Let's see here. <clears throat> Another chunky necklace. Uh, it is a Teresa Goodall piece. Lots of thick, fun beads. Um, these are lucite balls and that's fun. It's got this kind of clear gold um, beads and amber stone, like amber plastic beads and some orange spheres. We've got extra hair. Let's get that off of there. That's fun. I like that. I'll probably try to list that up for like $20. Let's see, put that over here. I love wooden jewelry too. I think it's just fun. So this is a wooden bangle bracelet. I'll probably put that up for about $9.99. A lot of these I might put up for auction if I can't find similar comps for them. This is a stainless steel Mylar hammered uh, bracelet from Italy. Oh, my wrists are big. Let me see, stretch it out just a little bit. Ooh, nice. Very fun. Let's see, lots of big chunky beads in this one. Wood beads and some um, plastic beads. This is fun. Does it have a brand? Unbranded. Unmarked. But love these big bulky statement pieces. They're definitely fun. This looks like... Side vintage, it almost looks vintage. Lucite faceted blue beads. Very nice. Fun, fun. Love the chunks. Let's see. Oh, here's a match to the other earring I had <clears throat> over here. Man, I'm glad I bought these two at the same time. Got a bangle that I'll probably post put in the um, craft lot. Ooh, this is fun. So this is like a reddish, I don't know if it's glass or like a lucite piece. Hmm, interesting. Definitely looks, um, it has this like push clasp to open. I don't see any markings and it's kind of got some wear on it. Maybe it was silver plated. Um, but that's interesting. I like that. Let's see. Ooh, so this looks like lapis lazuli. Um, I don't know if this is silver. Can check a little bit later or if it's brass but it's like a light brass I love that I hope the other ones in here 
Here we have another individual earring. Definitely brass with an interesting clasp on the top. Let's see. We have metal beads and a, just a this I'll probably put in the craft lot. It's not, it's got like a cloth. It almost feels like a zipper. It's interesting, but I won't sell that. This I'm excited about. I feel my wrists are too big, but that is really pretty. I love that. That would go really fun with that other necklace that I had I pulled out. Look at this. Ooh, was this one marked? No, this one is not marked. Ooh. Knocking stuff over. Lizzie Fortunato. That'll be interesting to look up. It looks like it has like a metallic shimmer in it. Very cool lucite piece. <clears throat> Let's see. Stretch bracelet. This looks older. The elastic looks kind of old on it. Amber pieces, plastic, I think, like in some kind of unknown metal. I don't think it's brass, but it has that kind of brassy look to it. That's pretty. Let's see, what else do I've got in this little drawer? I see some, oh, I got an earring stuck on this other, it's like a maze. Can she do it? Oh, there we go. I got it. So these are two of those fun uh, little brass hammered earrings. I like those. Try not to mix the stuff up into what I the other boxes that I had. Now these are really pretty. These oh, this is part of him. I didn't realize he was part of a necklace. So he's a pendant. It's got a bird cage. I'm gonna have to consult my cousin with this the Japanese characters on here possibly Chinese um, but if you look at the back I don't know if you can see it it's got and these stones are really interesting I don't know what stones these are so I'll have to ask a couple of people sir for some information uh, unbranded um, it's not gold it's kind of you know it's, they must have come apart because there's a lot of glue up here but interesting I'm definitely excited to find this out look up in and that's the best part about being a reseller is really like learning all that you can all right I think I have enough that I can kind of put the rest out enough space wow this feels amazing oh it's got this like vibration to it because it's like springy metallic coils it's by sea lily let's see magnetic clasp this is so fun oh my gosh i'd probably play with this all day it's really it this is a fun fun piece oh i'm excited about that oh that's so much fun. I don't even want to put it down, but I, I but I must. Now I have a mo oh, here's one of those broken pieces to that. These are definitely mother of pearl. Gold tone chain with uh, a guard around each piece. I can't believe this isn't branded. This is really pretty. They're like floral cut mother of pearl. Um, I love this. I like the sound too. All right, what else do we got here? Ooh, we got a Halloween pin. Right time of the year. That'll go up really soon. Oh, yes. Matching earrings. See, these look either Indian or um, like they're from India, I think. That's what I'm getting off of them, but there's no markings. 
I love these. I will definitely make my $35 back, even with the minimal amount of stuff that I have here. I have no fear whatsoever that I can easily make that money back. This earring is a lone earring. I don't think I have the other piece to it. <clears throat> That'll probably go in the craft. Huh. All right, let's see. We've got a couple of pins. I got a 10 year pin, some flags. And there is a cloth. A little, a little tangled cloth wrapping with I don't think that's it could be plastic but it could be wood too interesting at first I thought it was like Maui's hook but it's not a little vintage pendant just for you it's pretty beaten up I'll put that in the craft. All right, we got two things left here. This is a really cool iridescent stone bead three strand necklace. It has a hook clasp. I'm trying to see if there's any markings on here. It definitely looks like brass on the ends here. So you would hook it like this behind the back is it twisted on purpose let's see kind of a choker but i also have a really large neck so it depends on the person but those are really really pretty i don't know if you can yeah fun fun i don't know what stones those are must consult the friend that knows her crystals. So this is an interesting piece. You know, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, it has writing on one of them. Ecstasia. It looks like you would use it to stamp things. They look like stamp pendants. Um... Let's see. I don't think it's a... Is it a bracelet? So it has these. See if I can... So then it has that like barrel and pull. Little pull. Yeah, it's a tight bracelet. There's like... Writing... I'm going to have to do some research. Then this one has like a, is that like faux jade or actually jade? But it's got this little, I don't know if you can see it because of the light. Yeah, here are two more. Unless they're plastic or resin. Very, very interesting. Hmm. This has like two fish. This is wild. <clears throat> no markings on it that I can see. Other than that one thing that has the name on it might be the brand. E-X-T-A-S-I-A. -A, Extasia. Or Stasia. Very cool. And then the chain links have been impressioned too. Interesting. If you know what this is, let me let me know down in the comments. All right. One last, actually I lied. I thought that was the last thing, but I forgot about this. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a pair of stud gold earrings. I don't know if they're actually gold or just gold tone. I think they're just gold tone. Hmm. 
gold tone. So I don't know everything. I just do a lot of research from what I can find. And, you know, it's all a learning process. So this came inside of that too. I think this is resin. It's not, it's not actually what it was. And I don't even think this is the right chain that went with this pendant, but oh, turn around. Mm, I think the woman's face is a little broken too. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of a profile, but it doesn't look. I might throw those right into the costumes, or not costumes, but the craft box. But definitely let me know if you know anything about this. I am intrigued by that. Quite intrigued. Well, thank you for going through my jewelry jar. I definitely made quite a bit on the other one because there was lots of sterling silver in one of the other jewelry jars so I opened two and I had them on Facebook so feel free to go over there and watch those and if there's anything else that you would like to ask me do it so in the comments or reach out to me and I'd be happy to help or if you want to let me know anything I'm always willing to learn so thanks for coming to visit and I can't wait to give you some more content. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel uh, for more interesting videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.